dy dx given by x to log x plus one over sine y y cos y. So the first step is to cross multiply so that we have sine y plus y cos x or y cos y dy equals to x into two log x plus one dx. Now that one step converts the equation into separable form. So therefore next we integrate. So integral of sine y plus y cos y dy equals to the integral. I can multiply this one as 2x log x dx plus this multiplied by 1 is x dx. <coughs> Now, we have integral of sine y plus integral of y, so dy cos y dy equals to twice integral of x log of x dx <coughs> plus integrating x, you get x squared over 2. So integral of sine y is negative cos y, and then plus integral of y cos y dy equals to twice integral of x log x dx plus x squared over two. So integral of y cos y dy, we use integration by parts. So where u is y, dv is cos y dy. So which tells us that v will be sine y. And also the u will be dx. <coughs> and u will be dy. So integral of y cos of y dy, uv will be y sine y minus v du, integral of v du, which is sine of y dy. So this will end up to be y sine y. Integrating sine, you get positive cos, uh, a negative cos times this negative, you get positive. So therefore, we'll have uh, this will change to negative cos y plus y sine y plus cos y equals to two log x. So there's an x here integral plus x squared over two. Now left hand side simplifies to y sine y cos cos y and minus cos y cancels out. So this and this cancels out. So y sine y equals to integral of two x log of x dx plus x squared over two. Now, integral of two x log x dx. So let u to be log of x. So it means <coughs> the u is the same as one over x dx. So which implies dx is x du. And then, 
So, which means that this this uh, this substitution will not work. So, probably this we need to do by integration by parts. So, we let u to be given by x because we can always factor out two. This can be written uh, so x log of x dx, and then once we get that, we multiply by two, and then. So this dv, uh, let uh, let this be u, and then dv will be given by x dx, which means v will be x squared over two. So the integration of x log x dx will be uv will be x squared over two times log x minus nine, minus integral of v du. So V du will give us x squared over two times du is one over x dx from this point here. So which will be x squared over two times log x minus, so one will have a half integral of x dx which will give us x squared over two times log x minus one over four x squared. And then we'll have a constant of integration. So therefore at this point we'll have y sine of y so y sine y equals to now when you multiply this one by 2 we'll have to multiply everything here by 2 have to multiply everything here by 2 so this will give us x squared log of x and then minus x squared over two because of this form. So x squared log of x minus x squared over two, and then plus x squared over two, then plus constant of integration c. Uh, you clearly see that these two will cancel out. So this term, this term will cancel out. So which implies y sine y is equals to x squared log of x plus constant of integration c. Next question, I will have Solve dy dx equals to three x squared y squared subject to y at zero subject to y at zero given by a half. So in this case, multiply through by dx, so we have dy equals to 3x squared y squared dx, and then divide through by y squared, so that this and this cancels out. So you have dy over y squared equals to 3x squared dx. Now, 
we have separated variables. So integrating, I have the integral of dy over y squared equals to three integral of x squared dx. Now this is same as y raised power negative two dy integral equals to x power three then plus c. So integrating this will have y raised power negative two plus one negative two plus one equals to x cubed plus c. So it will be negative y power negative one equals to x cubed plus c. Or we can write this one as negative one over y equals to x cubed plus c. Or you can say y is given by negative one over x cubed plus c. But we have been given the condition y at zero is a half. So a half equals to negative one over zero cubed plus C. So it's like we have a half equals to negative one over C. So cross multiplying, we get C equals to negative two. So it means that the solution is Y is negative one over X cubed minus two. So this forms the last step in that equation. And then another one, solve the differential equation. X power four dy dx plus x cubed y equals to negative sec x y. So what you're going to do here, we can say let v be given by x y. So we fix this part so that dv dx is the same as now using product rule. So we'll have dy dx times x and then plus y. And left hand side of this equation, you can factor out x power three so that we have x dy dx plus y equals to negative sec v because we have fixed x, y to be v. Now you see this bracket will be the same as dv dx. So I have x cubed dv dx equals to negative sec v. So then we separate variables. So multiply through by dx. So x cubed dv equals to negative sec v dx. <coughs> Dividing through by x power three, we have dv is negative sec v dx over x power three. Now dividing through by negative sec v, or just dividing through by sec v, we have dv over sec v equals to negative x power minus three dx. A one over sec is cos. So we have cos of v dv equals to negative x cubed dx. So next we integrate 
cos v dv equals to negative integral of x power negative three dx. So when you integrate a cos function, you get a sine function. This will be negative x power negative three plus one negative three plus one, then plus constant of integration C. So this negative, negative will be positive. So sine V equals to positive X power negative two over two plus C. Or sine XY equals to X power minus two over two plus C. Or we can just write sine xy equals to one over two x squared plus c. And this form the solution to the given differential equation. Lastly, solve y prime equals to x plus y squared. Now by definition, y prime is dy dx equals to x plus y squared. Now here we also fix, so let x plus y to be v, so it means dv dx is the same as one plus dy dx. So that dy dx alone is the same as dv dx minus one. So this differential equation will be dv dx minus one equals to v squared, because we have fixed x plus y to be v. So this is the same thing as saying dv minus dx equals to v squared dx. So that dv equals to v squared dx plus dx, and then dv equals to v squared plus one dx. So we have, we can now divide through by v squared plus one. So dv over one plus v squared equals to dx. So then integrating we have dv over one plus v squared equals to integral of dx dv over one plus v squared is tan of v, tan inverse of v equals to x say plus c. So which means that tan inverse, remember v is x plus y, is the same as x plus c. Or we can say x plus y equals to term of x plus c. Or we can say y equals to term x plus c minus x. This would be the solution.